Hi, good afternoon everyone. Um, I'm just going to record this as my first reaction video coming into uh, into civilization after after being in Antarctica for such a period of time. Uh, I was in Antarctica for completing my seven volcanic summit, uh, so climbing Mount Sidley as the final piece of the puzzle uh, across all the continents and uh, glad that I did it. Uh, I, I completed it on 18th. Uh, and volcanic, the seven volcanic summit is a mountaineering challenge, uh, which is climbing the highest volcano in each of the continent. And uh, after completing that, I become the second Indian and also the youngest Indian so far. Uh, globally, I think there are around maybe 30 or maybe less uh, people who have completed the volcanic seven summit as of now. Uh, and it's quite a rare or mountaineering challenge and then people are, are kind of getting into it more and more so feels good to be in that kind of an elite list i would say uh, as of now uh, i'm sure it would get uh, bigger and more and more people would be doing it in in coming future um, i think the first reaction for me uh reaching the top of sydney was kind of a relief uh, i was uh, uh, it was a relief going through all my senses of that oh, I'm glad that it's done, it's over and uh, I just don't need to think about it because uh, having started for this, uh, I was uh, I started uh, climbing the volcanoes around 2017, 2018 with Kilimanjaro being the first one and then eventually going ahead and doing each one in each of the continent, the highest one in each of the continent. Uh, and it was quite a long journey, I mean, provided that also uh, we were, everyone was locked and the mountains were locked for two and a half, three years. So uh, I didn't have any opportunity to climb for uh, starting 2020 till somewhere around mid of 2022. Uh, but then having done that over a period of time, it's it gives a sense of relief. Uh, and uh, it's an achievement of some sort. Uh, I don't want to see it as an achievement, but it's more like a journey where I take off one box and move on to the other. Uh, having come from background uh, somewhere in Purulia, uh, uh, where I grew up, I mean, my schooling and my growing up days were, were in Purulia. And, and that's how I was exposed to the mountains or the hills or, or the rocks, I did say, uh, where I experienced it really raw and wild. And... Uh, that's where I think the connection with the mountains build up uh, and over a period of time completed treks and, and climbs in Himalayas uh, and, and that's where the beauty of the mountains even got further into me and then eventually I was like oh, let's let's get into a challenge and complete this and uh, having done that uh, I'm pretty happy uh, about it. Uh, I'm not sure I'm I'm contented and, and, and I wouldn't do any more mountain in future, but uh, I mean, it's just one of the, uh, I think the bucket list, I would say, to, to get it completed and, and then move on to the next one. Uh, Mount Sidley is quite remote uh, and it's quite an obscure mountain to, to climb in the sense that you need good logistics and then there is only one company which arranges it globally you need a good mountaineering cv and also you need a lots of money uh, and and that's the kind of challenge uh, when I, I think most of the mountaineering would come and then stop at some point of time because uh sidley is not uh, cheap it's it's expensive as uh, it's probably one of the most expensive expedition arranged in in Antarctica as of now and it's also the most remotest probably the most remotest mountain to reach in the world right now uh, and it sits on the southwest Antarctic shelf close to uh, not very far from the coast but it's uh, uh, it's a very remote and harsh uh, harsh conditions uh, I remember reaching the summit uh, and it was around minus 25 to minus 30 but it was not windy uh, with wind, things would get south really bad uh, really soon. So we were g glad that it was not windy and I was thanking the gods uh, that it, it stayed like that throughout the end of the day. And, and then by the time I came back and the storm start coming in and which I was like right in time back into the tent and things got, uh, things got really fine after that. Uh, coming back from Sydney at the Ing was... Uh, yeah, it was a momentous journey uh, after that, uh, and then I, I continued it through 
uh, I don't know what would be my next big challenge in, in terms of my mountaineering or adventure career, but I, I haven't given it a thought, honestly, because I, I didn't get time uh, to think about it because it had been so quick and, and I've been pulled into one interviews after the another and, and then that there are a few things which I needed to sort out for myself. Uh, I I don't know. I mean, uh, I don't know what, what is the next big thing. Uh, the one thing that I would like to do being a private pilot is to fly in and out of North and South Pole uh, on a private private flight, uh, flying it myself. Uh, but that would take some time. I don't know how long. Uh, I need to arrange logistics, get, get ratings and permissions to land in North Pole and South Pole in whatever time. Uh, but that would be one big thing I would, yeah, I would eventually try. I'm not sure how many people have done this, but uh, not sure if uh, any Indian have done that so far. Uh, but even globally, I'm not sure how many people have flown in and out of South Pole in their own own flight. So that would be uh, one thing I would I would definitely try. In terms of mountain, uh, I'm probably I'm not climbing any big mountain this year, uh, partly because I, I probably won't have time. Uh, with other commitments and uh, and uh, yeah it's yeah it's a little bit monotonous for me to climb any any more mountain this year but uh, I'll keep my eyes open for for next year uh, probably some some something big something large should should come up the radar will excite me and I'll give it a try uh, thank you everyone for listening to this and uh, hopefully I can have a longer video where I can share my experience in a a bit more detail. Thank you. Bye-bye.